I want to talk about uh, green. I have three different questions for you. In the United States, we have CAFE. Uh, what does China have for regulations for miles per gallon? Uh, they have a, we call, uh, the government announced a fuel regulation requirement about two years ago, 2000, end of 2006. They have stage one, stage two, stage three. Right now, we are on the stage two. In July uh, this year, they're going to implement stage two. Including goal is get the emission requirement. So in stage three, they have announced the physical implementation today, but they announced the three stage fuel requirement, which is by quite different than cafe regulation. It's more European side about EC requirement for the fuel economy requirement. We do have by engine size, by vehicle weight, by displacement, the criteria by passenger car, SUV, and truck. They have a different fuel economy requirement. Have a three stage. We do have. Just a little bit ago, uh, you, your, your company was very proud of the fact that 80% of your cars are four-cylinder, and they get the best fuel economy. Now you're bringing in cars that are bigger, heavier, and will decrease your overall miles per gallon. Are you concerned that you will have um, problems with your miles per gallon, and maybe even have some of the problems that you have now in the U.S. with big cars? No, I think that the bigger car, like Escalade, we probably only sell 600 a year. year. The majority of our keyboard is locally produced the small vehicles. From Uli mini truck, from our Chevy vehicles, from our big vehicle, our majority modern car, about, I guess, 75 80%, they are the vehicle in the compact size vehicles. And we believe that all the four cylinder engine right now is almost all locally produced. You're looking at all the Chevrolet engines, all the build the key volume engine, including the from 1.2 liter to 1.6 liter, 2.4 liter, they are local produced engine, and they are localized. So ours, we, 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 an overall company, we have very, very in above average in terms of per, per vehicle, in terms of the fuel economy in the car. You uh, went through a chart with the petroleum, the biofuel, the electricity, the hydrogen. Um, what, where will China get all of this fuel? It's very diverse, actually. China, and that's why this morning um, our chairman, Rick Wagner, have signed a Tsinghua University project. We're going to study which one is better for China. Actually, it's very, very, very diverse. Right now. But not diesel yet, not conform the future, everything goes to hydrogen, not conform the future, everything goes to E85. I think it depends on how the government future they set up a long term goal but we're working with government working with university research uh, uh, department very close. About four or five years ago the Chinese government did set up about a hundred million dollars through uh, universities and stuff for electric vehicle research and development. Are you working with them? We are well the key active 